This is Scott Farms 2021 peanut inverting. Now this is actually a tractor I've not seen with before with them. This is an 8R250. I've not seen them use this tractor before. Only, only the smallest one I'd seen before today was a 280. But this is an 8R250 uh, with a KMC, uh, six row, 36 inch row, peanut inverter, or peanut digger, or peanut shaker. There's a lot of terms used for the same piece of equipment, according to where you're from. Uh, basically this uh, implement, uh, it's got a uh, large, uh, blades or knives up under the, go up under the ground and cut the taproot of the peanut plant. And it also lifts the peanut, the soil and the peanut pl uh, plants up to the shaker bars, which knock as much of the dirt off of them as they can get. And in the back, you have the rollers and the uh, tines that actually invert the peanut plant to where the top's facing down and the peanuts are facing the sun. That way the peanuts dry faster. And the peanuts also don't stick to the ground. If you set the peanuts down on the ground, they can start sprouting if it starts raining. But also in this field, they have one of their 8370Rs uh, that's pulling another six row peanut inverter. They were running three, uh, three tractors uh, across, uh, across the river when I was filming last week. I figured they would be over here this week, but I thought they would have all three of them, but I guess they're only gonna bring bring two and today's date is october the first i got a bunch of video of them during the peanut uh, picking the peanuts last week and I wasn't going to shoot a tremendous amount of video of, of the same farm equipment running. I did shoot one 20 minute video just because of where I was located and the sun was in the right spot and the dust was blowing the other way and I was going to take advantage of it. And I was planning on going somewhere else to film, but I got called back in to work. So I had to make an hour and 15 minute drive back to work. To fix a piece of equipment and then got to leave again after about two hours. This is one of Scott Farms uh, 8370Rs. I think these are all, both, the, they're all the 370Rs I believe are in 2018 models. I believe they're all 100 year anniversary editions.
Yeah, Scott Farms has added to their fleet on what they're using to harvest with this year. They're using six, six row peanut combines instead of five this year. And I think last year was the first year I believe they used five. In fact, I thought, pretty sure they only used four for the previous years. That's only half of their equipment. When I say four, that's four on this side of the river. They have two separate uh, crews. They have a, what they consider the Seminole County crew that handles Seminole and Early County. And this is the Decatur Miller County crew. And from what I understand, there's just as many if not more of in the Seminole County. So if they're running five over here or six, they're probably running five or six over there too.